the next problem we want to find the equation of a line that is a perpendicular bisector of 4, 2, and 6, negative 2. And so perpendicular bisector, we want it to make a 90 degree angle. And so it's making the 90 degree angle and it needs to bisect, meaning cut in half. And so first, and it, we've got a couple options, but I like to find the bisector part of it first. Um, and in order to find the bisector, I'm finding the midpoint. And so the midpoint is the average x and the average y. Visually, I can see it's going to be here. Um, but if I find the average x, and so I'm taking the two x's, 4 and 6, adding them up, dividing by 2. If I find the average y, 2 plus a negative 2, divided by 2. And so that gives me 10 divided by 2, which is 5. And 0 divided by 2, which is 0. So 5 comma 0 is the point I want my line to go through. Next thing we have to do is find the perpendicular part. Perpendicular is going to be involving the slopes. And so my current slope is my rise over run. And I can do that visually fairly quickly. I've gone down 4 and over 2. Um, how I calculate that is I'm going to do my y minus my y and my x minus my x. I'm going to start with the rightmost one and do this is y minus this y, so negative 2 minus 2. Negative 2 minus 2 and then start with the same one, 6 minus 4. And so you get 2 and negative 4. Um, if you start with the other point, you'll just get positive 4 divided by negative 2, but either way, the slope is negative 2. So then what we're going to do is I need to find the perpendicular slope. Because I don't want the same slope, I want it to be 90 degrees to that, and so we're going to do opposite reciprocal. And so that's positive 1 half. I flip the 2 over. This is negative 2 over 1, so positive 1 over 2. Um, and so from here, I can visualize, okay, it's going to go up 1 over 2. And it's going to look like this. Um, and we could continue it backwards. And that's the equation of the line I'm looking for. I'm going to use this point that I want it to go through, 5, 0. And I'm going to use this slope that I want. And I'm going to write y equals mx plus b. And I can write 0 equals, I'm using the 0 from my, my point as my y. I'm using the slope, 1 half. And I'm using the x value, 5. I'm just going to do 2 and a half. 2.5 plus some amount. Um, if I solve this for b, I get negative 2 and a half. That means my y-intercept is negative 2 and a half, 0 minus 2 and a half, which visually looks correct. We're down 2 and a half from where we started. And so my equation of my perpendicular bisector has my perpendicular slope, goes through this point 5 comma 0, and has negative 2 and a half as my y-intercept. Now, it bothers me a little bit that we've got one fraction and one decimal in here. So you can make this 0 0.5, or you could make the y-intercept, 5 halves, just for having the same kind of form in there. And that's how we write the equation of a perpendicular bisector. Midpoint, perpendicular slope, find your new y-intercept.